students today we are going to study about magnets i know you all love to play with magnets we have we can see so many magnets around us bridge magnet magnets are there in our motors magnets are there in loud speakers magnets are there in our electric bell so in our day to day life also we are seeing um, many things with the help of magnets in our toys also we can see the magnet so what is a magnet a magnet is an object which attracts magnetic material like iron cobalt and it is called a magnet do you know when was the magnet discovered who discovered the magnet yes magnet was discovered by an asian greek shepherd named magnes once while he was fiddling with his stick and um, metallic end of the stick caught stuck with the rocks those rocks contain the natural magnet that is lodestone magnetite the story of the magnetite spread far and wide some people believe that magnetite was discovered at a place called magnesia there are two types of magnets one is natural magnet and another is artificial magnet natural magnets magnets which is found naturally is called ma natural magnet and artificial magnet magnet which is found made by man is called artificial magnet let's talk about types of magnet you can see uh, so many gadgets they are using magnets so they are using different types shapes of the magnets magnets are made in different shapes and they are named according to the shape each uh, magnet is made according to its need some of the examples of the magnets are bar magnet dumb dumb shape uh, dumbbell shape magnet horseshoe magnet cylindrical magnet etc etc what are, uh, what do these magnet uh, magnets do they attract actually but they don't attract everything so we can classify all the materials on the basis uh, whether they are get attracted by the magnet or they are not get attracted by the magnet so those materials materials which are attracted towards a magnet are called magnetic material example iron nickel and cobalt and the materials which do not get attracted by the uh, magnet they are called non magnetic material example is aluminum zinc wood rubber etc now <clears throat> when you see a magnet you can see there is n and s stick Uh, written on one end of the uh, magnet it is written n and uh, on the other end of the magnet it is written s don't you wonder what is this yes these are the poles of the magnet a magnet has two poles one is north pole and the another is south pole the magnetic power is concentrated on the poles of the magnet that means the strength of the magnet is more at its poles when a bar magnet is suspended to move freely it always points in north direction agar hum bar magnet ko ki keep it free to wo it will always point towards a north direction the north uh, pole of the magnet points towards the north and the south pole of the magnet points towards the south interaction between poles of a magnet like poles repel each other and this means that when north pole of a magnet is brought near the north pole of another magnet both repel each other the same holds true for the south poles of the two magnets that means if we bring two uh, so, uh, south poles of two bar magnets nearby they will repel unlike poles attract each other this means when north pole of a magnet is brought near the south pole of a, another magnet both attract each other use of magnet in finding directions 
Magnetic compass is a simple device which has been in use since ages to find directions. Magnetic compass has discovered in was discovered in ancient China. The sailors and travelers found magnetic compass very useful in finding directions. Magne magnetic compass is composed of a small box with a glass top and magnetic needle is pivoted on a pivot around which it can rotate freely. Making your own magnet. You can even make the magnet at your home. With the help of a permanent magnet, you can change a piece of iron into a magnet. For this, you need to place the iron piece on a flat surface. Then rub the permanent magnet on, an, on the iron piece of many items. Your hand uh, movement should always be in the same direction uh, while doing this. After some time, the iron piece would attain magnetic property. Storing a magnet. Bar magnet should be kept in pairs. They are unlike poles should be kept on the same side and a wooden box piece must be placed between them. A piece of soft iron should be placed at their ends. For storing a horseshoe magnet, you should Place a piece of iron across the two poles. Magnets should be kept away from speakers, CD, television, music system, computers, etc.